What's up, peasants? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem Free Book 1. And in the last episode, we began Chapter 8, and we're going to just continue where we left off. See, my nerve is just here, it's just going to chill up here so I can safely um, kill off these Pegasus Knights. I'm going to have Gordon take down the one that's on full health, as the Pegasus Knights actually do have a lot of resistance. So it might be kind of tricky for my mages to take them down. Gordon got the fence, that's pretty neat. Seven defense, Gordon. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna let Doga. Doga needs the experience the most. So I want to. I want to make him a general. So he needs to get to level ten. I believe you need to get to level ten to promote. And yeah, he's only level four. Because really, Doga doesn't get a lot of experience. He just uh, chokes the points and uh, takes hits. Doesn't do a lot of killing because he doesn't really double. All right, so. Yeah, this is fine. Finding it's that one. Got a steel lance, not bad. I'm actually gonna drop the steel sword. It's not gonna need to dismount in this map. Uh, you're gonna use the steel axe on this guy, and then Navar can safely finish him off because Navar's pretty frail. I don't like putting Navar in danger. But I want him to be good, so I need to get killed. Yeah, although I just feel like a lot of my characters are underleveled. Like, I gave so many fucking kills to, like, Abel, who's now dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, I'm actually gonna wait for Hardin to get here so he can bait out these guys with a javelin or two. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Now we've dealt with all the threats, Minerva's just gonna walk around. I'm not worried about her. There are gonna be reinforcements that are gonna spawn from the top where we started the map. But I think they only come when you rescue Maria. I'm pretty sure the boss has, has like a quote that says like, oh yes, reinforcements. So I'm not worried about that too much. And even if they do, we'll just have to revert our focus there. Maybe just choke the point in the castle. Because we'll all get into the castle before they spawn, I'm sure. So I'm just going to move Julian out of the way, I think. They all need healing. Not that I can see. Everyone's pretty fine, actually. Alright. Good, good, good. This is gonna be a lot of moving about. Okay, that's kind of worrying. I don't like it when Minerva comes near me. <laughs> it still worries me. Alright, so I'm just gonna bait out the archers one by one with my javelin. This is why it's OP to have our. Um, to have mounts indoors, and I don't know why this map does that, like, it's weird, it, if it's a bug, then, I don't know, I don't know if it was made to be like this on purpose, I really don't understand why, but I'm not complaining, it makes my life a lot easier, alright, Doga's slowly getting around, so hopefully the archers will actually come towards me, which they do. Okay, nice. I can give the kill to someone else as well. Oh, uh, why is why is Minerva coming towards me? I don't like it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we need to hurry up then if she's actually coming towards me. Uh. None of them can attack. Okay, so none of them. So I can safely put one right here just to heal up. The max just in case because the sniper is fucking terrifying. Uh, yeah, he does 18 and damage, so he'll do 10 attack to me, which is kind of scary. He can attack in the same place. I this is this is okay, let's just let's just be rid of this guy first. I think Harding can take both hits if the sniper only does 10. I'm sure Harding can take both. Oh wow, they're, okay, yeah, they're already coming for me. Eight crit, Jesus. Oh wow, he doubles me, fuck. Okay, Minerva's coming. Okay, the sniper is fast as fuck. So, I need to... Oh, there's Navar. Navar needs to come in here. Let's use the silver sword. Yeah. This sniper needs to go down. Which he should go down pretty well now, because he can't retaliate. 
Uh, let's just use the kill sword. There we go. Okay, Alton gets the sniper kill. Decent amount of experience. It's level 6. Look, weapon level hit points. Not terrible. Not amazing either. Uh, let's just heal up. Oh, fuck one person. Oh, that's annoying. You can still get experience for healing nothing, which is interesting. Okay, Wendell's just gonna do it. I don't know why they don't auto target the person who's damaged, but what are you gonna do? Okay, okay, so there's only that one guy there, so I can just I can safely send in most of my units, obviously apart from Shida. Um yeah, this guy doesn't have a lot of range really. I'll probably take more, but I just need to move, like, I just need to move in now. I need to recruit very fast. I'm worried about reinforcements. Uh, yeah, this is, this is, this is a tense map. It's an interesting map. And it's a fucking annoying map. But it's interesting. To say the least. Yeah, you was gonna get tight marks. Should probably give Mark some XP. Okay, Minerva's not coming to me, so I can relax a little bit. For some reason, I thought that Minerva's AI is just given up and was like, nope, I'm coming for you, bitches. Oh no, fuck, I'm not giving Mark XP. Navarre's on the edge of a level up, I kind of wanted him to have it. And there we go. Skill, look, hit points. And he had a steel bow, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's steel bow. Oh wow, you can actually. You can't, you, you can't usually zoom in on weapons like that, as far as I know, so <laughs> do you have to be like sending items to the convoy to be able to look at them? If so, that's kind of stupid. Sometimes I want to know weapon like mites and weights and whatever, that'd be very helpful, because the game doesn't make it very apparent at all times. Also, I need to make sure I go shopping before I seize the throne. That's probably wise. I need vulnerabilities. I've come to realise. Oh, I just waited. Oh well, Harden's not not in range of any danger at the moment, anyway. All right, okay. That's, that's a lot of walking. Don't come inside, please. <laughs> please don't come inside. Yeah, we're gonna get our first promotion item when we uh, eventually kill this hero here, which is nice. Not that anyone can use it yet. No, uh, Navarre parts, well, no, parts time can use it. Navarre or Ogma aren't even level 10 yet. I believe those are the only people that can actually use the hero group. I may be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that they are. It would make sense. So I need, probably need to give, be giving more experience to those two, because I feel like they are lacking behind a little bit. They haven't gained a whole lot in the past few maps. Especially, they didn't do anything last map. I was meant to give the boss kill to Navarre, but then Merrick even stole it by getting crit. Oh, why are you coming indoors? No, what, are, what is going on? Okay, we need to open that door. We need to hurry the fuck up. <laughs> it's it's really scary when Minerva comes after you. I don't, yeah, I don't enjoy it. So I probably should have uh, been a little bit quicker, but you know what? What are you gonna do? As long as she can reach Marth, she won't. I'm sure she won't attack. I'm just getting paranoid. <laughs> Because this, this recording has been going on for way too long, and I just want to finish this chapter now. These pillars are a pain in the ass to get through, like, fucking Gordon can't walk anywhere. Okay. So after all that fucking walking... She's moving pretty slowly, so, you know. I did... Oh, I'll make sure I... Item use... Okay, I did bring the door key. Even if I didn't, I'd just get it right out of the supply. Chest. Dragon killer, that is... That would have been so fucking useful. Like... 
like five turns ago. Giving me these items at the wrong time, game. So I don't think there's even any more dragons on the map. <sighs> so yeah, this game, I'm having a, I am having fun with it. Um, I mean, up until Abel fucking dies. <laughs> but no, yeah, I am genuinely really upset about Abel. But we are, you know, we're carrying on making do. So yeah, we, we, we should be fine. So yeah, we can come in here and talk to Maria. Oh, you are Lord Marth? He's so handsome. Wow, this writing is terrible. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me. Please tell my sister I'm safe. She will definitely be very happy. Also, I would like to aid you, Lord Marth, by your side. Can I? Very one-sided conversation. Yeah, Maria is another healer. She comes with a live staff, and as you probably guess, she is worse than Rena. Like, she's nice if you need some heal, extra heal utility, but you'll more than likely always be using Rena instead of her. She's just there in case Ren is dead, basically. <laughs> that is the sad truth of it. But she's pretty good in Heroes, I have to say. I've been using her. She's on my team in Heroes. She's my main healer. So I need to basically clear a path for Moth. Um, so, no, we can get... Yeah, okay, the reinforcements fucking arrive. When... Oh god, okay, yep. So I should probably... <sighs> Hurry the fuck up now. Hmm, who's gonna choke the point? This guy has an armor killer, so we can't choke the point with Dogo. He has 15 attack, and he also has 10 effective speed. So, Navarre will get doubled. That's kind of scary, actually. 15, 9, so I will live 2 hits. I just need to make sure I can actually reach her. Uh, what should we put? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, yeah. So, Julian's gonna open the. Oh, that's not Julian, that's Merrick, fucking hell. I mean. I can maybe also kill him, like now. Look how much damage I do. He has. He has a lot of defense. How much resistance do we have? That's the, that's the real question here. Just three resistance. Oh, I'm ta oh, fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it. I just kind of need to get through this as quickly as possible. Sheila can also come out here and do some work. Just 15 attack. I have... How much defense? Seven. So I'll live I'll live two hits. And I should I should even outspeed him, I believe. He has no crit on me. And we killed him straight away. Nice, nice, nice okay. Good work, Sheeda. Took the hero proof. So we've got a first promotion item. We need to hurry the fuck up, kill the boss, because I'd rather not deal with the reinforcements, personally. <laughs> like, I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather just avoid them. I know it's experience, but there's just a, it's just a buttfuck of cavalry, and that's just not fun, like, ever. When is a buttfuck of cavalry, cavalry ever fun? So I'm just going to have these guys who are already out just swarm the boss, hopefully as quick as I possibly can. If these guys try and enter the castle, then I'll probably have Doga and Minerva just wait around. So Minerva should auto recruit herself onto Marth now. Oh, I'm, I may actually have to uh, burn a warp staff if I want to get Marth to the throne. Anyway, greetings, Prince Marth. I'm Minerva of Macedonia. Thank you for rescuing Maria. We were on opposing sides in the past, but now we no longer need to be enemies. My brother, Michelle. Not Michelle? Okay, I'm going to call him Mikhail. He led the majority of the Macedonia to side with the Dehua Empire. He was also the cause of my father's death. Possible, I would want to defeat him with my own hands. Also, please help me rescue my subordinates. They are three sisters, Paloa, Katua, and Est, of the White Knights. The Duhua Empire feared they would rebel, so they separated from my side. But if they know I was still alive, they would come back for me. The citizens of Macedonia are suffering under the Duhua Empire. Please, let us fight together with your highness. Alright, so we got our first Dragon Rider. So Minerva's pretty good, I will be using her. Especially now with a man down. 
Yeah, these cavalry I do not want to deal with. Like, uh, if they come through the castle, they'll take fucking forever to get here. So do we need to go? Okay, we need to go up here. This guy doesn't attack. The boss should be pretty easy to take down. And there's only one armor knight here, so as long as we just we're just fast, we get up here as fast as we can. Cheetah can just fly everywhere. Merrick, as long as Merrick can get over there, he'll be able to just crit and kill the boss. <laughs> the boss also drops a speed wing, which is very nice indeed. So yeah, Minerva's gonna want to get up here because she don't want, she won't want to deal with the cavalry if they get here because they have bows. But yeah, she has, uh, I think, more defense than Dogra actually. Yeah, she has one more point of defense. She's she's literally an armor knight on a mount, which is amazing. She comes with a javelin. She can wield more weapons. She has ten weapon levels, so she'll be able to wield the silver lance. Um, so yeah, we'll be stocking her up on weapons as soon as this chapter is completed. We just want to get out of here as quickly as we can. And that may be kind of tricky with Moth um, having to see the throat. If I need to burn a warp, then I need to burn a warp. I didn't use a warp um, rescuing the thief, well not rescuing the thief, killing the thief like I did on my first playthrough. So if that playthrough, like if my computer wouldn't have messed up, then I would have used the warp staff. So really it's not much different, like yeah, warp staff's are nice to reserve, but you know, what, what are you going to do? So I'm not sure if they're going to enter the castle or go round. Either way, I think we should be able to reach the enemies first before they get to us. So I'm not too concerned. Yeah, we'll easily defeat the boss. It's just a matter. It's just a matter of getting Moth there. Um, I wish we had a dancer. When do we? <laughs> We don't- oh wait, no, there is no dancer in book one. Damn it. <laughs> okay, well, boots are definitely going to mark when we get them, that's no question about that. Can't forget, there is no dancer until book two. Which is a shame. But I guess they just didn't think about including a dancer, I guess, in the original, and they didn't want to just add one in for the sake of it in this game. Alright, so, yeah, I was moving everyone just... I'm basically moving, only moving these guys just in case the cavalry catch up with them. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be trying as quickly as possible. Oh, okay, they're coming inside, which means they're going to have to wrap the long way around. So, honestly, I think we'll, we'll, we'll easily get there in time. Minerva's only level 1, but she is promoted already. She doesn't need the experience, so I'm just going to give this to... Give this to Shida, probably. This bishop can take a beating. All the bishops in this game can take a fucking beating and a half. Alright, nice. I'll probably actually give it to Ogma, to be honest. Because he... I want it, obviously, cause like I was saying, I want him to... Um... Well, promote as soon as possible, <laughs> really. Now I have a hero proof. Oh, uh, yeah, it's just Javelin in the Salmonite. Night. Minerva just won't take much damage at all, so there's no need to worry about her. She, her hit points are kind of on the low side for a promoted en uh, enemy. Promoted unit. Only 22. But she has a good enough defense that she, she can make do. Oh, damn, I shouldn't have put Julian there. Marth needs to move quick. I don't think we should. I don't think we'll need to use a warp staff at this point. Yeah, this episode is going to be kind of long, but you know what are you going to do? I want to show everything off. This guy's going to fucking heal, isn't he? Well, they're approaching quicker than I expected. The enemy kind of used. That's probably why, actually. Um, that's. Actually, yeah, that's probably the reason why the, uh, you don't have to dismount in the indoor part of this map. It's because um, the enemy reinforcements come through there. You think about it, it does, I mean, it makes sense. But then they could have just had reinforcements from di a different place. Like, they could have had them come from the bottom. But, you know, oh well. I also kind of wanted to visit the Vendor. But. Honestly, I'm not gonna break my neck over it, like, if I don't visit it, I don't visit it, there's nothing, like, I can do. 
It's just I'm only missing out by a few vulnerabilities. I can live. I've got another reblow staff. I got physics out the ass now. So yeah, it's fine. Here's the boss. Damn, you're all useless. In that case, let me personally take care of them. Die, rebels. Oh wow, I did no damage. Okay, yeah, this Merrick needs to take care of this child. Maybe a few armor slayer attacks will do the trick as well. Now these cavalry of this or this cavalry approach, uh, approaching pretty fast. So I need to hurry up <laughs> with killing this boss. I'm just not gonna move. Alright. Why does someone have to mow their lawn when I'm recording? Can you not tell? <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it in the background. You probably can't. Alright, Merrick, come on, do your thing. I kind of need an Excalibur crit at this point. And there we go. He's literally. I swear to God, he's crit like every boss. Level 10 speed, hit points, and he had the speed ring. The Eritian Knights are strong, so strong. You fucking damn right, mate. I think I might actually be able to fly down and visit the vendor with Minerva. Yeah, we can. I'm pretty sure the armory sells all the same shit that was in the last chapter. And so does the vendor. I just want to buy vulnerabilities. I didn't get any in the last chapter. Because I am running out, and vulnerabilities are actually pretty useful. Okay, so I can. I can. Uh, Alright, then uh, shop. Well, they call it a vendor. <laughs> so, yeah, vulnerary, yes. Lots of vulnerays. Would I I'll probably if I thought I'm gonna buy another door key just in case. Uh, because they can be useful. I don't think we have any more. And yeah, I think we're good on everything else. All right, so now we can seize. Thank God that chapter is over. Prince Mark, do you know about Arcanai's Archbishop Maroa? Yes, the great bishop who perfected Arcanai with his aura term. He died in battle against her who is ally, the demon king Garnet. Yes, well, the bishop had a daughter called Linda. That child inherited his aura term. However, after Maroa died, Linda disappeared and her whereabouts are unknown. I heard she was sold to the slave market. She must be very sad right now. Marth, I beg of you, please find Linda for me and protect her in place of the deceased bishop Maroa. You're just giving Marth like another thing to have to do. This is so unfair. Like find this random girl of legend. Like what the fuck? <laughs> but anyway, that wraps up this episode of Let's Play Fire Emblem 3 Book 1. And in the next episode, we will go straight on to chapter 9. I don't actually remember this chapter very well, but I'm guessing they hinted at Linda, so we'll be getting Linda in this chapter, which is good because she is also a character I'll be using. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.